Bishop, man? No. I'll bring him right back. <laughs> no, I ain't sure. sure. I'll keep I think he got in it. So I'm not sure. I'll keep the extra set of keys. Okay. You keep the extra set of keys. <laughs> in case I got to come through possess. Well, I'm telling you that you're going to need him. He would never find <laughs> him in. Trust me, because he would be gone. All right, man. So, so Ramon, I'm going to jump in real quick, man. Let me ask you a question, man. What made you decide to take on this kind of music and just do this thing and mess up people like Benji's mind all over New Jersey, man? What made you decide to do this, man? Well, it was actually Wesley's idea because we started doing it like once a year okay. um, with, you know, with brothers from around the neighborhood and everybody dug the music, everybody was in love with the music. Okay. So we decided to do it once a year, we do it once a year, then about after that fifth year, we said, you know what, I think we need to go full time. So we went full time and we've been doing it full time for about 20 years, but the band has been together for 27 years. Now, when you, what was that landmark event, series of events that made you guys realize we need to do this thing ongoing? Not just once a year, not just a once a year festival, but all the time. When George Clinton showed up to the gig. And what year was that? That was 19... I want to say 1991. What happened when George showed up? <laughs> or the part you can tell us about? Well, <laughs> well um, a friend of ours, uh, Curtis Spencer, said, hey man, George is coming, George is coming. We were like, yeah, right here, yeah, right here. Yeah. Right. So, we're playing, and Curtis comes in, and he has this guy with him. And I kept looking at him, I kept looking at him, I said, wait a minute. That's GC. So he was supposed to sit out in the audience, but he didn't sit out in the audience. He got up on stage with us and stayed up there the entire set. Oh my oh, that's sweet. The entire set. So vibed off your music. The entire set. Just he just went for it. And you knew you had something there? Yeah, we, we knew we had it. We, did, we knew exactly when we had it. It was right then. Ramona often talk to artists about that moment mm -hmm. when they know they had it. Right. Um, <clears throat> Ramona, when you, were doing, when you do your thing, at what point did you realize, I got this? I got it. Mm -hmm. I can say when um, when I know someone that was a, a baker also mm -hmm. that had it all together that when they complimented me about my cupcakes that it was just a good feeling like okay I know I'm doing something right right here oh yeah oh yeah well that, oh, yeah. That, yeah so that was my way of that's my way of introduction to you brother because you yeah. want them cakes <laughs> <laughs> Benji man. Uh, yes. um, now, I knew you had it from the moment I laid eyes on you, <laughs> on camp. We was, we, was on, we was on the quad at Syracuse University, and, uh, and I said, uh, that dude different, <laughs> you know? And, and you've, pro you've produced stuff for people. You've worked in this genre of radio in different formats and different ways. What, uh -huh. when, you, when, you, when you first got a hold of this sound, how did you know that this was going to be something that was going to last damn near a lifetime? I didn't know it was going to last a lifetime, but I knew it was kind of like, man, you know, this type of sound has been around for every seemed like two years. It was like upgraded. So when George and the crew came in, they started playing music, and the whole concept of the whole concept of the whole production from the time. When I do my show, the public show, I leave the intro over like the public side and explain the history. And I knew it was something when I understood everything he was saying. He was a weird, understood the words from that person. And this is why I said, well, and my friends were like, how do you know that? I said, I don't know. I said, I want to be from that word. I love you. 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 And I was like, right, man, because, you know, we've been here for years. 
to the state people, we are baptized over the phone. And that's what I said. You know what? I don't want to do it. And I want They don't understand it. I tell them, I'm going to do it. I'm so you twist it for a minute. You got it. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Frank, I saw that twitching you. Yeah. All right, so, so, so Benji, you, you still out there streaming some of this music, still putting some of this stuff out there? Where you doing it at, man? I have been offline, but I'm preparing for them to come back. I'm not going to have a first online. I'm doing my birthday show September 3rd. Mm -hmm. And of course, thanks to the streaming of Facebook, I'm going to be able to and then online, we'll start figuring out which people still want to be on. Mm -hmm. Online, I'll give everybody the URL. You can listen to me broadcast live, and I'll do that. I want it. That's what my friends. Um, tell me what to talk to you about. Get your request in now, because once I get mine, it's all over. Well, I'll tell you what, man. While you do that, this is what I'm going to do. I got a gift for you, man, right after your birthday. Okay. I want you to have your own station. Ooh. So you can yeah. fi so you can fire your stuff up 24-7. Now, would that would that be something you like to talk about? No. That's <laughs> All right, because we because because we have the capacity to build something that they'll never be able to bring back, bro. And then and, and then you can connect with the clones and whomever else you want, and you can just load that up, and that's your station twenty four seven, and do whatever you want to with it. Yeah, that's the. That's the next generation. I couldn't announce it when I saw you in person because uh, it, it, it was it was still in the concept stage. But you but you know me, I'm like fuck. I ain't going nowhere. I'm forever coming. <laughs> oh yeah. Send a signal. Send a signal. Well, you know the mother the mothership's gonna be here at the Smithsonian any minute. <laughs> I'm I'm, yeah, seconds. I'm I'm huh? In about a few seconds. In about a few seconds. So not even minutes. This is gonna be in a few seconds. Terry, look, t hold on for uh, Benji. Let me tell you. Terry has on an authentic paint the White House black shirt. All right. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. Oh. Paint a picture. Picture perfect. Yeah. Paint a perfect picture. <laughs> Think it ain't illegal yet. Think it ain't illegal yet in the middle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, 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 was, that was on the B side of One Nation. Yeah. <laughs> so let me, hold on, Benji, you got to hear this, man. When you guys play, man, how many of you mother, mothers are on stage, man? Oh, man, it's a small crew, just 11. He <laughs> <laughs> said just 11. <laughs> they got a small mob. A small mob. That's small. I dig it. I, you, you're, they have a gig coming up September 23rd. Right. You're familiar with that? Yeah, I'm familiar with that. Can you tell me about that? And Ramalda, you're invited. Oh, that's one. All right, Ron, is going, Ron is going to sleep there the night before. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, uh, the uh, Funkateers Ball. The, the Funkateers Ball. Oh, yeah. Oh. Benji? Your birthday, September twenty third, DC. The Funkateers Ball. I, I, I gotta, I gotta break my phone out so I can read this. I'll take your time as you do that. So as you do that, Ramalda, Ramalda, let me, let me, let me show you how bad your boy is now. Ramalda, hold on, let me show you how bad. Ramalda, even, uh, even my man uh, Nick, even my man uh, Ron said, "Bub, I ain't never seen you this prepared for a show." All right, yeah. I said, cause, I said, cause, cause, cause Funk, Funk ain't been here in person yet. So the Funkateers Ball is at Martin's Crosswinds right. in Greenbelt, Maryland, yes. Friday, September 23rd, 8 p.m. All right, now, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to let you do the commercial. Oh, no, no, oh, no, it's black. But it ain't black tie. All right, Terry, tell, Terry, tell, Terry, tell them what we do at the Funkateers Ball, man. We have a good time. We throw our hands up in the air. We, we wiggle. Oh, you go with it. That's right. You go with it. Ramona, I'm going to enjoy the next part right. teaching you this, about this, funk. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to put you in my car. No, no, no. I'm going to put you in my car and teach you about funk the way you need to learn. Okay. <laughs> so you know when. Right, so you know when to wear. All right now. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Hotel is available. Say that again. A hotel is available. Hotel. Uh, uh, now stay with me, Benji. Hotel rooms are available. Yep. Discount at the Holiday Inn Ring Bell. Use, use the code Mothership Ball to receive the discount. So, Benji, man, if you can get to DC that Friday, I'll take care of your hotel room. 
So all you got to do is get here Friday, September 23rd. And Mike Hampton is going to be performing. And, and who did, hold, hold up, Benji. Hold up. Something just happened. Mike Hampton is going to be performing with the Columbus. Mm. Kid fucking devil. Mm. Michael Hampton wow. is going to be performing. Okay, so now I got to do this. Ron, zoom in on me so I can get this commercial. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, let's go. All right, he's zooming in on me, and then I'm going to do it on you. Ready? Okay. September 23rd, 8 o'clock p.m., the Funketeers Ball at Martin's Crosswinds in Greenbelt, Maryland, with special guests Michael Kidd, Funkadelic, Hampton, and the clones of Funk. Be there, September 23rd, 8 p.m., Martin's Crosswinds for the Funketeers Ball. Hotel rates, all kinds of good things going on that evening. Stay tuned. We'll have more for you in the next couple of weeks. All right, Terry, back to you, my brother. Uh oh. All right, here we go. <laughs> now, I understand. Now, I'm going to get deep on you. I'm going to get deep on you. That's what I do. Okay, go ahead. All right, now, Ramalda, do you know that when, when people decide to make music part of their living, it affects their job, right. it affects their family, right. it, it affects everything going on around them. Right. And sometimes those effects, or it was desired. In other words, if you don't like the effects, don't produce the cause. But in this case, it's just a cause that gets produced and it's an effect that happens. Happen. Now, Terry, man, what are some of the things we can pass on to folks who decide to make this business their business, media, music, etc.? Things that they can do, man, to maintain some health and vitality in their relationships, maintain employment if they need to, and things like that while they're building this brand. Well, what I do is I make my family first, okay. and also make God first, also, okay? Absolutely. Make sure you spend a lot of time with your family, even though you're working on your craft. Your craft is important, but make sure you spend time with your family, and your family's going to be right behind you. Absolutely. Every step of the way. They have your family. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Now, if you ever go on the road a lot, how do those cats make that happen? How do they keep that together? Like you look at the funk now, they're on the road 275 days a year. Right. How do they keep that together? We call home. Skype. I set myself up for that one. But, but, but uh, in all seriousness, you know, if, if you're on the road a lot, and if you're within a 200 mile radius, bring your, your, your significant other in. You know, smart to, man, to, to smart man, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it, it, it makes more sense that way. Keeps a lot of drama down. Keeps it down? Yes, it does. keeps the groupies on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> keeps the groupies at bay. That's right, that's right. That's Going right. like this. Groupies bring drama. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Unneeded drama. <laughs> Unwanted drama. Groupies bring drama? They bring drama. They, they bring, bring drama. No. They bring drama. Ask him. Look, he's like, look, he's shaking his head. No. <laughs> no. No. I got the key. You know, no. rolling no. around no. groupies are right outside. <laughs> <laughs> right now. I feel like, you're right, right, right. right. <laughs> you're right. Oh, 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 no. All right, so look, man. So as, as we go forward, you, you, you played in some. Tell us some of the venues that you guys have played in where you were able to get that electric moment that that show or those shows and those places where he said man like when, when funk first came to dc they said oh we got something mm -hmm. i said there's something here that we're not finding every place else one show that that comes to mind was the um we played at the carter baron we opened up for the barcades and lakeside mm. and the energy was so high mm -hmm. at that show that the Barcades and Lakeside had to step their game up. Same thing when we did the Carter Burn with um, Mandro. The energy was, was here. Mm -hmm. And you didn't want to bring it down to here. Mm -hmm. You wanted to bring it up. So, so you know, shows like that, um, some of the club dates that we've done have been really, really interesting. Um, Fort DuPont. Those were some great shows. Yeah. I seen y'all there. I don't know. 
he did like this. So yeah. Yeah. It, 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 was like, it was like that. Yeah. That's what yeah. I mean. <laughs> but, you know, shows like that, you know, when, when the energy's really, really high, mm -hmm. those are the best shows. Now, is there any kind of demand for what you do outside of D.C.? And if so, tell me about it. New York, Virginia, um, the Carolinas, um, Delaware, PA. It's there. It, it's, it's definitely there. Now, other than you, do you know of any other groups in that space that are that are, that have a signature covering of the P Funk sound? Oh man, there's a band from out of New Orleans um, called Dumpster Funk. Mm -hmm. They play P Funk really well. And it's another band from out of Colorado called uh, the Motet. Okay. They've done it really well. And then, you know, there's Clone to Funk. We try to do it very well. Mm -hmm. And there's an oh, I almost forgot about one. Been out of New York called the Nappy Head Funk Army. Mm. I think they're getting back together. Okay. Yeah. I saw a group on um, Ramada of Caucasian persuasion called Old Man Brown out of Baltimore. Have you heard of that? Slam, they did unfunny. Busy. Yeah. You gotta YouTube these cats, man. Old Man Brown. They did a rendition they did a rendition of unfunky UFO. Man, I almost man, I almost crashed my car. So you must love it. What? <laughs> they were good. Okay, so uh, go ahead. You were telling me something, Terry. There were some. There, there were some kids from out of Israel. Uh, that they did. Uh, they had gone. I can't think of the name of the song. But they did a Funkadelic cover, and I went, "What?" They, yeah. Like, oh, they were God. right on. From the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From Israel. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Benji, have you seen? Have you ever seen any? P funk cover bands live? No. Did you know they even existed? I'm sure they did, but you know, I mean, you know, you know, I mean, 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 so this, right. so this is the deal, Benji. I'm not talking about they take the stage and they'll they'll play a bunch of stuff and then drop flashlight in there or drop a Tommy dog. I'm saying that you guys can play. Give me some of the songs that if you all were in here right now, give me some of the songs that you can play right off the break, too, without even thinking about it. Mm. Rock the Boogie. Rock the Break. Um, Michael Book is a hard one to play, man. Yeah, yeah, that boy. UFO. Mm -hmm. Unfunky UFO? Yeah. Um, I saw you, I saw you, I saw you do Cosby Slop, so I know that. Yeah, Cosby Slop. Um, yeah. I saw you went up for the damn street. Uh, Mothership Connection. Um, Maggot Brain. Huh? Maggot Brain. Maggot Brain? I yeah. love Maggot Brain. Dog Star. Flashlight was one of my favorites. Yeah, we, we do that. Yeah, it had to be at every we house do party that we... Flashlight in the bathroom. Look, I'm telling you, <laughs> flashlight in the bathroom. Flashlight in the bathroom. I'm joking, sitting on the toilet, flashlight. Everybody. You had a house party, you break out with flashlight. I'm in the shower with classic on. Mm. Playing All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even need to be plugged in. Nope. Oh, even Ramada, Frank, even Ramada has her folk, has her folk allergy going. Oh, she said no party. Absolutely. Every party. When the lights right. went out, flashlight. I was at the Capitol Center when, when um, the Funkin' Dallas, when we, oh, what? Really? What? I was there with the motor water on the boogie. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I was, like, trying to figure out how they going to do this on the stage. Oh, oh, right there. Oh, 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 that's that's the, that's that's the, that was the best show in the world. You can go on the floor and get on any woman you want. I'm one of the that was you? What? 
Oh my goodness. I had to be there to see it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I did if what? Oh, it was wonderful. You know, I can see it now Absolutely. on YouTube. YouTube got wonderful. Oh, my God. I had to have my little outfit, everything.